Hi, my name is Mark Tabram. I'm the director of the coaching education program for USA Hockey. Right now at USA Hockey, we're very excited about a new tool that's going to revolutionize off-ice training and develop hockey sense in youth hockey players. The game of hockey is extremely fast. There's so much to know, so many choices, and so little time. While coaches have a plethora of drills for improving a player's on-ice skills, skating, puck handling, and shooting, what can be done about the intangible? The stuff inside the player's head, their hockey sense, game awareness, reaction speed, peripheral vision, the ability to anticipate a play before it develops, are all crucial elements to the success of a hockey player. The Hockey Intelligym is the first training system ever that improves hockey sense directly. Meticulous research shows that players who went through this cognitive training simply execute much better on the ice and throughout the season. The breakthrough idea behind the Intelligym was developed for the fighter pilots of the Air Force and tested by NASA. Two years of extensive research on cognitive skills and how to train these brain muscles ended with fighter pilots who improved their flight performance by an unbelievable 30% on average. Upon hearing of this breakthrough training system, USA Hockey assembled a group of the original cognitive researchers, hockey specialists, and computer game experts and brought this revelation to the hockey arena. Coincidentally, many similarities were noticed between the cognitive skills needed for fighter pilots and hockey players, and the transition of the program was natural and effective. Hockey Sense is be able to process the game at a high level quickly. Know what's coming at you at any time, who's on the ice, where the next guy is, where the puck's going to go, where you should be, who's the most dangerous guy on the ice, how can I violate the opponent. The Intelligym improves these skills by dealing with the brain processes of perceiving information, analyzing it, making a decision, and executing it. I think the biggest challenge, and probably the hardest thing to improve on, is to try to help a kid at this level, and then as they move up, to think the game better. The mind is the most powerful tool that we have, and I even talk about it as a skill. You know, like, we can develop our mind just like we can develop our skating, and just like we can develop our passing and our shooting and everything else. It's a powerful tool. Science has demonstrated that one can train brain skills in the same way muscles are trained. By repetition, practice, and concentrated skill development programs, players go to the gym, lift weights, and return to the ice playing better. The same applies to the brain. Players who go through the intelligent brain workout return to the ice a superior player. When using it in conjunction with a complete training program, the growth in mental capabilities is monumental. There's nutrition, there's your body, and, and there's your mind, and, and rest, and I think all those things fit together. But I do think, uh, in, in the sense of, of working on, on your mind and, and what's going on, I think it's probably the most underutilized thing that we work on in sports today, not just hockey. You know, your brain is a muscle, and, and if you use it, you, you'll improve it. And if you don't, uh, you end up losing that, those skills that you have. So I think, you know, even from just the aspect that you're, you're continuing to exercise it and expand it, I think is, is a tremendous part of of, of the whole player that we're trying to get with, with USA Hockey. Uh, we don't want guys that are just strong in a couple areas. Uh, you know, the guys that are home runs for us uh, nationally and that can continue on to play in the NHL and play in Olympics are the guys that can, can do everything very, very well. The first effort in developing the Hockey Intelligym was mapping the various muscles in the brain that had to do with hockey. This was done through observation, interviews, video analysis, and helmet-mounted cameras. All of the components of the Intelligym are certainly apply to the game and what we want to do uh, in terms of helping them see the ice better, you know, whether they have the puck, whether they don't have the puck, you know, how they see the play, how they read the play. Once the map was complete, cognitive engineering scientists developed a system that stimulates the exact same mental skill set. The result, a program that looked and felt like a normal video game but specifically train the brain capacities required for playing a real game of hockey. Here we see the Intelligym in action. After trainees learn how to control the basic settings of the Intelligym, a new level of difficulty is added. The athlete now needs to dedicate special attention to his bomb handling while performing all the other tasks. At the more advanced levels, the trainee is faced with partial hiding of the ice. The brain must anticipate the moving image of the entire ice while completing the missing pieces. This is one of the many ways athletes will develop their working memory, the same skill that later enables the no-look pass. You can't help but feel like when you see it, well, 
it's, it's very similar to a video game. I've seen my kids play that. It's not. I mean, it's very specific. It's designed. They've put hundreds of hours into this program, and they've designed it for us as a hockey player, specifically to develop the mind and the cognitive skills that overlap the game and the game of ice hockey. The average player experiences a natural drop in his or her ability over a 45 second shift. The greater the fatigue, the more impactful this effect. The Intelligent will increase the level of their overall performance and will flatten the curve by increasing focus and attention throughout the shift. In addition, players are able to get mentally into their shift in less time and maintain focus in their shift for an increased amount of time. The Intelligent requires players to train with the product twice a week for 30 minutes each time. After just eight sessions, players and coaches will notice a difference on the ice. All of our guys do it. I think the, you know, certain guys, it doesn't matter what exercise you're doing, there's a certain motivational factor with, with some guys. And, and we did notice that, that some guys, uh, the progress on some of the charts wasn't quite as, uh, as high as we would have liked. And I think once you know, we passed that on to them, went through the results and showed them that, that they weren't getting the same results as maybe some of the other guys, that, you know, that, that is a motivational factor. Guys want to get better. Intelligym tracks the results as much as the coaches, and in every category, the national team development program improved. The Intelligym adjusts to fit every player's specific training ability and needs. The feedback given to each player is easy to decipher. Coaches have online access to the system, where they can track the performance of the entire team in one view. Or they can dive in to learn the detailed performance of a single player, and even track his ongoing hockey sense improvement over time. There's certain areas that we worked a lot on as a team and, and defensive things and team play where the whole team had, had moved forward and I think that was neat. But I think pulling out the individuals, I think we did see some areas where, um, hey, let's just say Johnny, you know, had, had gotten a lot better at uh, uh, decision making and, and, and handling the puck in, in tough situations or bomb handling as it's called in the exercises. Um, I, I think there was some good correlation there and I think it was a good feedback for us as coaches you know, to kind of work it both ways. All right, here's something that the young man's improving on, that's great. Uh, let's continue to work on the ice, and, and uh, uh, it is neat to see the deficiencies and, and the improvement correlate to what we're seeing on and off the ice. The Intelligym has a proven record for success. Used by thousands of hockey players, three U.S. national teams, the University of Maine, and this fall will be implemented into the regular training of the United States Air Force men's hockey team. The national teams using the Intelligym participated in 12 international tournaments over a period of two years, winning gold in nine of them, including four world championships. The question has been asked, why does USA Hockey want to create a program like this? I think there are several factors. USA Hockey develops great players through our youth programs. However, we do lack in some areas. Puck skills and hockey sense are the two that stand out for me. As expensive as ice time is and as hard as it is to get everybody in one spot with the travel and, and everything that we go with, through with elite hockey players at younger ages, if they can take something and, and do something on their own, uh, we have guys stick handle at home. Uh, we have them shoot pucks on, on their own at home. We have them lift weights sometimes out on their own. Well, if, if we can take this aspect of it and, and leave us even more time on the ice to work on certain other things, I think, uh, I think that's a great tool. Now keep in mind, the Intelligym is for all players. Bottom line, we really do not know who the best players are going to be when the players are at a very young age. That is why we need to develop all of our players, which is the backbone of our new initiative, the ADM, the American Development Model. So helping to create hockey sense through the Intelligym is going to be a very important step in developing the U.S. player. I want to personally thank you for all that you do in coaching youth hockey. I hope you will utilize the Intelligym and help our players become the best that they can be. For more information on cognitive training and the Hockey Intelligym, visit thehockeyintelligym.com.